you can see that we have a rounded back here. That's generally caused because we don't have enough tilt forward in the lower spine to straighten our backs. And we have the club shaft running too uh, parallel to the forearms. Uh, there should be about 144 degree angle between where the forearms and the shaft meet. And you can see we almost got a straight line here. Uh, what that's going to do is create a, uh, a situation where it's very hard to rotate smoothly around the spine. Let's watch what happens here. Takes the club a little too far to the inside. Drops the head down a little bit. Now notice he's getting a little stuck in here. Let's clear everything out of the way. Uh, what we're getting is a little too much left arm bend uh, so that he's ending up real tight. The left knee has moved out towards the golf ball. If we're going to move the left knee, we want to rotate it towards the right knee, not away uh, from the spine angle, creating that dip. So let's clear everything out of the way again. Now let's watch the downswing. Straightens the left knee, begins to rotate the right knee, and now right there, it's starting to pull up out of the shot. See that? As he's moving in. Now look how high the hands are relationship to where they were at setup. That's because he doesn't have his spine tilt at that 45 degree angle that we're looking for, um, which would be closer to here to here. Now you can see he's way, well above that with his back. I'd like to see his back turning on that or pivoting on that particular line. So we're going to work a little bit on his posture so we can straighten that out a little bit and get him into a better finish position.